Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. What's going on? Today I'm going to be reviewing a few fragrances. This is the last of them all. And this is big thanks to Dr. Jeffrey. I actually fell sick. I was not well. And in a bit, I'll be doing another video and I'll let you know the updates, what's happening uh, in that video. But let's focus on this one. He lent me this perfume like a few weeks back and I did have one other perfume that belonged to him. I did review that, but this one was <laughs> remaining. I did review London by Tom Ford. That was his bottle as well. So let's review History of the Perfumes. And this is 1740, I think the fragrance is called. Yeah, it's called 1740. I'll show you the presentation. I'll let you know how this one smells. I have it pre-sprayed on the paper. Okay. And this is basically a patchouli uh, leather fragrance and a very daring one. Okay. Let me show you the presentation and talk about this one. So it comes with a sleeve and a box. Inside got a box. If you push, it opens up. I don't want to take it out, but it says the name here. Nice little pattern. It's like a 3D thing going on. You can look at it and you get confused and whatnot. At the side, it says 1740. History is the perfumes. Okay. And then day perfumes are the perfumes. And then they have the notes here. I'll read them out. And there's a story of the perfume, what this is supposed to be smelling like. Okay. Uh, so nice little uh, packaging here. Niche perfume, obviously, these are. And the prices, I think, uh, if you buy them from Bangladesh, they're not super expensive or super cheap. It's like, uh, I say, it's a, I don't know how much you paid it for, but I think it's about $150 for 120 mil of this. I could be wrong, okay? So bottles, are, I love these bottles. These bottles are lovely. I love the lettering. They're just so pleasing to the eye. Name here, just like the box. The notes, the cap, okay? Juice color is very eye-catching. And the back, it looks very simplistic, and I did it like dig their uh, presentation so the name of the house history is the perfumes you'll say here and 120 ml bottle <clears throat> the cap it's tall cap it looks like serge luton's caps for me and it's nice not fit good quality the cap got good weight let me spray this and show you the sprayer okay good sprayer not the best but good sprayer it gives out enough juice so how's this fragrance uh when you spray always give it some time in the air so it dries down and burn off some alcohol if there is any okay so this house i did not review that many other ones i'm not i don't own anything from them but uh, i want to try because there's a lot of love for these perfumes in this community so here you go so first of all uh if you're a true niche lover this fragrance is going to appeal to you right away it's going to be like wow uh, that's the first impression i loved this one and london both uh, but London was like for me is a little bit more wow factor, but this was no less. I really liked the opening. Uh, sadly, one day I was wearing this, I forgot about it. And then summer was starting, basically I was going out. I was wearing something like uh, perhaps Aventus on my neck. And then just for testing purpose, I put this on, uh, not realizing what this is going to do. So my sister was there at home and then the, my niece was there. So she was playing. So I was going to give her a hug like, you know, I'm going, going out by baby. So the baby comes near me and my sister comes. And then my sister goes like, what are you wearing? It's stinks so bad. What is that horrible smell? It's like a dead animal. Immediately, I was like, what? what, what? I showered. I used Aventus. And she cannot possibly be saying this about Aventus because Aventus does not smell like those dead animals. Then I forgot, I'm like, I totally forgot about that I had this on my hand. And I left the house a little bit sad because, you know, I don't like getting those kind of comments about my perfumes. But then I realized, what is that that smells that she's like, didn't like it? Perhaps something under my shoe. Then I realized it was this perfume. Okay, so that tells a story. It's not a crowd pleaser. And I'm sorry to say if someone loves this perfume, this is not a compliment garner. I ho I feel, okay? So this is entirely for yourself if you're actually into these notes. So let me read out those notes once again. Uh, Bergamo, Davana. Middle notes are patchouli, coriander, uh, cardamom. And base notes are cedar. I think they're written in French. So I'm just trying to still read, uh, trying to translate abdenum. I don't know. <laughs> Cure, that is the leather. Vanilla and immortal, okay? And then this burly. Oh, I don't know what this burly maybe. Okay? I'm <coughs> sorry. So, and the juice color and everything, it gives you the feel it's going to be winter perfume. This is exactly a cold weather fragrance. And it's a very dry fragrance, okay? There's hardly any citrus sweetness to work with. And maybe there's a little bit, it reminds me a little bit of David of Zeno, okay? Fragrances like those, Beau de Jour. But it has a lot more strong notes, like the patchouli is very dark. The leather is very animalic. At the same time, it's kind of like polished, somewhere between polished, a brown leather boots and then raw leather okay so 
it's still very much on the daring side. It's much more daring than Tom Ford Tuscan leather for me. If you ask me how wild this leather note is. So the burly and then the immortal floral. I do not detect it that much, but I did like Sunshine Man by Amwash. This one reminds me of tiny bit of that one but that one is bright this is not okay so any other note that i pick up a uh, cardamom i did not pick up perhaps it's mixed in those spices it's a spicy dark leather patchouli and that immortal floral uh, and the patchouli is very dark you really have to like your patchouli uh, based fragrances to appreciate this one it's a very mature fragrance to my nose and I think this fragrance will work really nice in cold weather. Perhaps it's summer, that's why I'm not liking it that much. But initial impression, I really like it for the artistic aspect of it. The boldness and how they built it. Uh, it reminds me of something like LDDM or something like imaginary authors would make. It's a very creative niche indie style perfume, okay? So respect for what it is. If you ask me wearability, definitely this kind of weathers, I'm not going to pull this off. Uh, perhaps you preserve this for cold weathers, but it's a unique one for sure okay so try it out i mean uh again uh, i really have to wear it more but it doesn't really disturb my nose that means that's a good thing that it's not uh sickening okay but definitely test this kind of perfume before you buy it overall this fragrance i'm gonna give it still out of respect eight out of ten performance is good not beast mode i got about five to six hours on the sixth hour is very weak already but of course cold weather time it will be better but i heard this house doesn't have the best longevity and projection but you know their fragrance creations are good and quality ingredients okay so eight out of ten for history's day perfumes 1740 it's in winter perfume check it out thanks for watching thank dr jeffrey for your bottle finally i'm done it so time for last video then we go for uploading take care